Hello and welcome to Tech and More as part of the ongoing series that is Salesforce Automation Testing. Welcome to another video. In this segment, we are going to continue our discussion on various Selenium commands you need to know. So of course, there are numerous Selenium commands. So we have just divided these commands into separate videos. In this video, we are going to have a look at these five most commonly used commands that is get, close, quit, get window handle and get window handles, right? Now, first of all, let's go and focus on get. Now, if you have seen my previous two to three videos, you have seen this method somewhere or you have seen this command somewhere, right? So if you have a look at the definition, it says method navigates to the given URL as a parameter. And if you have a look at the syntax, you'd realize that this is nothing but the method that we were using to navigate to a URL, right? So you have seen that, but you know, just wanted to tell it to you one time formally or something of that sort. So that is the uh, get method. And of course, we'll be seeing this in the actual code, but for now, let's jump to the method that we don't know. Now, after this, we have driver.close and driver.quit, but I feel that do they have to be explained at the end. Before that, we have to talk about get window handle and get window handles, right? So I'm going to skip the second and third that is close and quit for now. So uh, be with me on this. And first of all, discuss get window handle and get window handles, and then we'll come to quit and close. Cool. So I'll skip quit for now, close for now, and now I'm coming to get window handle. So what is a window handle first of all? A window handle holds the unique address of all the windows. And what does this method do? Get window handle returns or gets the window handle of current window. To explain it to you better, let me take you to the code. So we are in the ID, we have the code written. Now on line number 19, you have driver.get that we discussed about. That is this method will take you to a URL. Now we are using something other than Salesforce for now. And you know, I got a couple of comments that can you please include some other websites as well in between the videos. So I'm not, of course, I'm not going to include all the videos or all the examples with some other websites because emphasis on Salesforce, but in between, or, you know, in videos, I feel it can be a good fit. I'll be adding some different websites for you to get a heterogeneous exposure to different websites, right? So in this case, we are using source demo and what is that website? I already have that open. Just give me a second. Let me minimize it. This is the source demo website. This is a demo website basically, and it's very, very common and very, very useful for automation practice. So if you want to have a website that you can use for a different sort of uh, practice of automation test cases, refer to this one. Now with the help of dot get, you can go ahead and you can navigate to source demo.com, right? Now let's again, come back to get window handle. So let me log in and uh, okay. Let me click on, for example, the Twitter button and let me click on the LinkedIn button, right? Just imagine that the first three tabs, which is the YouTube tab, the presentation tab and the Salesforce tab is not there. Let me close Salesforce for now. Now, uh, the address of this, I mean, you know, simplifying it, you can see five tabs here, right? Five tabs are open or five windows are open as we talk in, talk in the uh, automation terminology, five windows are open, right? So every window has a unique address. And why is it? Because let's suppose you are performing a test automation or designing or automating a test case. In that scenario, you might open different tabs and you want to perform one action on one tab, then other action on the other tab. So you need to have the capacity to switch to these tabs. And how do you do it? Again, you have to have a unique address to go locate that tab of your choice and then do your action, right? So this is the purpose of get window handle. That is, it basically gets the unique address of each and every tab which is open, and then you can perform the actions accordingly. That is the meaning of get window handle, right? Now, if you see on line number 20 till line number 22, this is the basic username password click pattern that we have seen in the previous videos. I'm not going to explain it right now. We are, we are using find element to find the username password field and then click on login and then login, right? So <clears throat> that is that. Now on line number 24, you see string parent is equals to driver dot get window handle, the method that we are discussing about, right? And uh, I want, what I want to see is that I want to see what sort of uh, value does it return, right? So let me go ahead and let me print out, let me print out this parent. Cool. So, 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 so. 
Hmm. Now, of course, we have the code below it as well, right? But I'm not going to focus on the other code for now. And I'm just going to talk about the get window handle. And you know what? I already have that implemented. Let me delete it. Now, what this particular line of code is doing, that is from line number 24 till line number 33, is that it is going to the home page. Then it is getting the window handle the address and then it is storing it into the string which is parent right so this window handle or get window handle returns a string numeric value a string value and that value is being stored in the string variable right and then it clicks on driver.find element twitter.click it clicks on the twitter icon as we did manually just a few seconds back then it switches to parent and then again it clicks on linkedin because you know uh, when we were on the main website we clicked on twitter it went it took us to twitter then we came back to the home or the parent window and from there on we again clicked on linkedin that is the flow for now and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to print out the parent window title that is the parent window here is the parent window here is source demo right so i went here i navigated to these tabs and now i'm back here and the website which you are hitting the first time that becomes the parent window and it is going to return the parent window address so let's see it in action first just ignore the code below it that is all about get window handles but for now let's only focus on get window handle so the execution has started and uh, i think it will not take a lot of time see it opened one tab it opened another tab now it switched back to the parent and it came along with the title of the parent page, which is Swag Labs. Let's validate if it is right or not, right? See, this is the title of that window. Cool. Do not focus on the below ones. We'll discuss it later. But for now, just understand that get window handle will return you the window handle of the, uh, of the parent window or the main window, right? And I, I used dot get title. That is why I was returned with the title of the web page. If you hadn't used dot get title, you get returned with a string, an alphabetical string, uh, uh, you know, which, which identifies each window uniquely, but usually we do not need it. We need the title or we need different information. So I wrote it in such a way that it becomes more practical, right? So that is all you need to know about get window handle. That is it. It returns you one unique address of the current window, number one. Now let's talk about get window handles. So as the name suggests, get window handles, that is multiple. So it will bring you back or return you the addresses or the windows which are all open at the current instance, right? So for example, if I click here, I go to LinkedIn, I go to Twitter, then I will be returned with all the handles which are open right now in this case on the screen which you see right now there are five tabs so it will return me with a list or rather a set of all the uh, windows which are open right that is the drill now we have the loop here which is iterator it is equals to and then you know we have a while implementation this these are very i mean this is the basic while implementation of in java so if you have some basic exposure to programming language like Java or any OOPS language, you know what is a while loop. So I'm not going to focus much on this. I'm going to focus on the code written between if, which is from line number 39 to line number 42, right? So in line number 39, it says if parent, that is if you remember the source demo tab, which is uh, this one, right? If parent dot equals ignore case, not equals to child window if you see the exclamation it means not equals to that is it says that if the current tab by looping if the current tab so you see these multiple windows here right so it says that when you're looping across all these window window number one window number two window number three four five when you're looping if you find that the current window that you're accessing and the parent window which is this is is equal then you go ahead and break the loop Otherwise, go to all the windows and get the title of name, which is written in the code. If this is not equals to this, then you go ahead, you switch to that window that is driver dot switch to dot window and the window ID, I mean, specific to the window that we're switching to or that we're fetching. 
and then on line number 41 it says string web page title is equals to driver dot get title that is on whichever window you are by looping get the title of it and then print it cool so now let's have a look at the, the uh, you know the child window handle title uh, string printed on the console right so it says source labs at the red source slash x source labs slash linkedin right so it went to the open windows except for the parent because we did give it a condition if it's parent do not fetch the title and if it is not a parent then you go ahead and fetch the title right so it fetched the title of twitter or x and linkedin so that is the drill right and with the help of get window handles, you can multiple, you can handle multiple things. So always understand that it is very important to use get window handles in a proper manner along with the loop. Now talking about the second and third method that we discussed at the very first or at the very start of the video was driver dot close and driver dot quit. Right now, let me do one thing. Let me execute this code again, or rather what I'll do is for easier purposes. Let me comment it out for now because we have we are done with the discussion of find element and find elements so let me comment it out till 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 here okay right and now let me execute it again because you know to make the execution faster so again focus we are going to understand driver dot quit and driver dot close here right so i used dot close dot quit so i do not see any window handle open now let me do one thing now let me comment out driver.quit and now let me run it again. So the script has started running. And if you see the <clears throat> window handle did close, there is no doubt about it. It did close, but, but the execution is still ongoing. That is, had there been two tabs, right? And if I have used driver.close, then only one tab or the current tab, which is open would have closed, right? So let me show it to you one more time with, uh, with another example. So let me go ahead. Let me comment out these things for now. Okay. Yeah. Let's run it again. So now what it will do is it will navigate to source demo. It will open the Twitter page, right? It did. And now it will only close one of the window, which is the parent window it closed because it was given in the command and now you already have the Twitter thing open, right? So that is the drill. That is what driver dot close does. All in all driver dot close will not end the session. It will only close the current window as it did in this example. That is it closed the source demo homepage and it kept the Twitter open. Whereas in driver dot quit, the entire session will be closed. We'll see it again. Let me go ahead and stop the execution because you know, the session did not end and now there will be no stop button and the execution will not, I mean, the execution will end. So it opened the page, right? And now you do not see any red button. You do not see any browser open. So that is the, that is the process. That is driver.close will close only the current window, only the open window, whereas driver.quit will close all the open windows. It will quit the session. That is all you need to know about driver.close and driver.quit. So I hope that you did get a gist of these five methods, which are very, very important to follow. And uh, you you give it a try at your own end. I know and hearing these sort of things at the first may sound a bit complex, but you try, you, you know, apply your own mind, give it a try. I am sure you'll be able to get through these methods, understand them. If you have any queries, please feel free to reach out. Apart from this, let's meet in the next video and discuss some more Selenium methods. Thank you.